Ooh. It is a froggy, froggy morning out. Wow. Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books. And I have a new arrival from Book Outlet. I'm so excited that I can't wait. I'm supposed to wait until December 1st because my little... TBR quota is already maxed out for November, but I can't wait. <laughs> I've got like two other packages somewhere back here that I've been waiting on for a while. Um, and I'm just getting tired of having these unopened boxes in my world. So I'm going to open this one and I'm blaming it. No, I'm not blaming it. I'm this, this video is dedicated to you, Patrice. This one is going out to Patrice Jones, who has um, led me down this path. Something just happens to me, like, I can't blame it on Patrice, because something just happens to me around this time of year, and my well-laid plans just go astray. They do. I've got... Besides the two back there waiting, I've got two more orders coming. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what we have in the box. Oh, we've got four dollars off our next order. Have to put that aside. Okay. Oh, this looks like a very boring back. Oh, but it's an exciting front. Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. Lies, spies, and conspiracy to protect predators. So, just got these off Book Outlet in case you're wanting any of them. They might still be there. Um, yeah, I've been wanting this one ever since um, it was on the BookTube prize long list. So, excited to get to that one. Uh, unfollow. A Memoir of Loving and Leaving the Westboro Baptist Church by Megan Feltz Roper. I get into um, religious sex, cults, things like that. I think they're interesting. So, this is a very nice shade of, what shade would we peach? Very gorgeous color. Um, Cuba Libre. Que cambio la historia del mundo. Oh dear. I didn't. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I can't show you this picture because they would censor me, but um, yeah, this is in. Spanish. So I can read Spanish, but it takes a very, very long time. And this is quite a chunky book. <laughs> so keep you posted on that one. But um if you've been around a while, you know that it's I always pick a focus. Uh, country or location, geographic location for my January reading. So, hint, hint, hint. Cuba on the Verge, 12 writers on continuity and change in Havana and across the country. This one is edited by Leila Guerrero. That one. This one is in English. Oh, this is so exciting. The Arab of the Future for a Childhood in the Middle East, 1987 to 1992 by Riyadh Satouf. I have been loving reading these. I've read the first three. Um, and th this one's been out a while. I just have not gotten around to getting it. Um, Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading put me on to these when I first got on BookTube. And she's lucky and always gets them ahead of everyone else because she reads in French. And these are originally written in French. 
And speaking of, this is translated by Sam Taylor. Um, so yeah, the fifth one is already out. So there's that. Oh, Swan Song by Kaylee Greenberg Jeffcott. I have wanted this since it was long listed for the women's prize. I don't know, it just intrigues me. Um, but I've heard mixed reviews, but then um, Charlotte from Tired Mama, who is now um, Mama, she's blooming, she's blooming. I'm, I can't remember the exact grammar of her title now, but she's blooming. Um, she loved it. So, and also I just finished, um, Furious Hours by Casey Kep, and that talks about Truman Capote quite a bit. So yes, I'm even more excited after reading that. And I have Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, I read In Cold Blood years ago and I've read it two or three times, but so yeah, there's that. The American Plague, the untold story of yellow fever, the epidemic that shaped our history by Molly Caldwell Cosby. This is great if you are into um, this sort of nonfiction. I just found this very engrossing. I bought this for my sister for Christmas, so yay. Can y'all believe I ordered that book in Spanish? Oh dear. Finding Manana, a memoir of a Cuban exodus by Mirta Ojito. This one is in English. Yay. Um, let's see if this... Oh, from a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter. One Girl, Two Cultures and a Chaotic Flight for Freedom. 1980. Anyway, looks, looks like a good one. The Black Cathedral bar by Marcial Gela, translated by Anna Kushner. This one, um, I think it's like a, it's like a thriller. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That is way the heck cool. I'm here to tell you. Yeah. Oh my word. I'm excited. I hope the book is good, but the construction is um, haunting and transcend transcendentally twisted. Yeah, I like twisted. This English language debut from a Cuban literary star is a tale of race, magic, belief, and fate. Trees. And I'm in love. Let's look at the end papers one more time. Oh, that's so cool. They're the same, but yeah, and the cover, I mean, I'm in love with that. My Time Among the Whites Notes from an Unfinished Education by Janine Capo Crusset. This, I believe, is Cuban as well. Um, a collection of essays on feeling like an accidental American and the tectonic edges of identity in a society centered on whiteness. And our author is, um, does it say, she was raised in Miami. I think this, I got this, um, I think she's a Cuban American author. Uh, Carlos Aire, Waiting for Snow in Havana, Confessions of a Cuban Boy. Have mercy on me, Lord, I am Cuban, 1962. Ooh. One of 14,000 children airlifted out of Cuba, exiled from his family, his country, and his own childhood by the revolution. Wow, I did not know. I learned so much with these projects. And last but not least, Ordinary Hazards, a memoir by Nikki Grimes. Um, this is an author that I have just come to love. 
follow her on Twitter. She's just fabulous. So she is a poet. So this is written in verse. And it's her memoir, written in verse. So I think this is gonna be fabulous because she is indeed fabulous. So there you go, book outlet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye. If you're still here, I thought I would confess that my dear, dear friend has assisted me in placing another book outfit order. Stay tuned.